Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Back in my kitchen again. Obviously, during times when it's always been raining and stuff like this, like what we've been having. I don't know you guys. When times like these, I always have a craving for mussels when it rains. You know? I don't know. When it's nice and warm and hot during the season, I have a craving for prawns and crabs. And when it's a bit cool like this and raining outside, I'm always having a craving for oysters and mussels. So, since I can't catch any fish, I've been bashing the barrel, land base with lures up and down, left, right, and center. Getting worked up, not getting a single touch on the lures. I thought that. Since I'm craving for mussels, I'll come and uh, share with you a little recipe. That I usually do when I have muscle cravings. Muscles, not this kind of muscles. This. Uh, New Zealand green shell muscles is what I like to use. Unfortunately, uh, we can't get them. We can't catch them wild and locally like we would with the prawns and all the other redfish. So I have to stick with New Zealand green shell muscles. Australian muscles down south for the black lip or blue lip or something like that. They're good, but they're just a bit tad small, so I've got no trust but to go with the bigger green shell mussels from New Zealand. I think it's New Zealand, I hope it's not from China or anything like that. Yeah, product of New Zealand. Yeah. Good stuff. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna whip up a little uh, recipe that I usually do when we have a bit of craving. It's uh, more of a, like, finger food. You know, you have a friend, some few friends over, have a few drinks, have a laugh, have, you know, it's always good to bring this out and uh, it always keeps the guests happy. You know, something to snack on while they drink or having a smoke or whatever, whatever they you do, you know. It's, it works quite wonders and it's quite delicious too, doesn't need much recipe and it's uh, very quick and easy to make. So. Um, Let's get into it guys, let's go. Hold on, hold on, there's one more thing I want to miss, one more thing I miss. Sorry guys, let me just uh, fix the camera a little bit here, I missed something. So, so um, yeah, I missed something, apologies of the kitchen as you see here, yeah, it's a, uh, it's, it's a bit to be too clean you know? it's, it's, the purpose of this video channel is uh, to represent the everyday Australian the everyday person at home uh, everyday fishing everyday cooking and this you know I told told the boss not to not to clean it but then she gave it a quick wipe and, you know, it's, this doesn't represent the everyday kitchen all right, all right. it doesn't look like this so uh, yeah I told her not told the boss not to she wiped it out anyway, so here we are. So remember, what you see doesn't 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 really look like this, right? <laughs> yeah, this channel, like I said, is meant to represent the everyday fisherman and the everyday kitchen. Right? You know, not like anything like it's fully wiped out, bling and shining and everything and stuff like that. You get what I'm saying? You know, the reality, most of us. Hey, like, don't have stuff like that, okay? Yeah, so, so move on. Don't worry. The boss doesn't watch the video anyway. She'll never know, all right? <laughs> okay, let's go. All right, so here we are. I just got them in the sink. I got uh, two boxes of green shell mussels. They won't kill, but once uh, we take the meat out of the shell, you're not left with much anyway. So it's full of family, so I hope this should be enough for the whole family. So what I'm going to do is defrost it, take them out of the bag, yeah, beautiful, fairly simple, still frozen, oh yeah look, she, she missed, she missed this side of the kitchen, <laughs> she forgot to wipe this side, there's a bit of baby food and some um, on this side. That's proof. There you go, guys. <laughs> she forgot that. <laughs> she got this side, but forgot this side. <laughs> Anyways, we 
back out. Yeah, like I said, she doesn't watch the movies, so she wouldn't even know. <laughs> um, I need uh, need a little bit. Defrost it a little bit. Alright, so what we're going to do is, um, they're raw, okay guys? Fully raw, not cooked at all, because I prefer them raw, because it's, when you cook them, it tastes better. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, open it up. It's a knife. Should be right. So what I'm supposed to do is, uh, it's still a bit frozen. Yeah, where is it? It usually has some whiskers here, but they're gone already, so trying to get a knife in here without cutting my hands you see it's uh, still a bit frozen so that's what makes it hard open it up here we are and take the meat out see it's still rock solid for us so you want to peel your hand through one side of the shell oh nice and full is good just like you would like it in a mud crab now if you get the uh, blue lip or black lip um, Mussels that we have in Australia ones so there has a big shell, but the meat is tiny. Oh, no, that's blue lip or black lip, or something like that. The ones in Australia, a bit smaller. But these big green shell ones, you get bang for buck with that. Okay, still a bit frozen. I'll only just take it out. I need to defrost this ice cube in the middle here. You see the ice, ice block. So what we're gonna need is a bowl. So So we're gonna need the shell. So for each for each muscle we need one shell. Because um, when we cook it on the barbie, the shell retains the sauce. Okay. Do the shell, quick rinse. Nothing's gonna kill you gonna go on the barbie and everything that's gonna kill it will be gone already so uh yeah this one's a bit frozen so um, i'll give it a bit yeah i don't want to be frozen like it retains too much water you see yeah so leave that one in here uh drink some of this cold water yeah fill it up with Normal water, more room temperature water, and um, let it defrost a bit, and then we'll get back to it. Yeah, it's still too frozen. We'll get back to it, guys. Stay tuned. All right, to the sauce. So all we need for this sauce is oyster sauce, this brand, and fish sauce, the squid brand. Now, I'm pretty passionate about my sauce, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, this is the best one. Um, they are all sauces aren't the same. Remember what I said. They are not the same, and they will not taste different. You use a cheap, dodgy brand from Coles or Woolworths or that man, maybe too salty or one or the other, and you'll throw your cooking off. This is the sauce that will stick to its original intended taste. Oyster sauce, this brand. Ah, uh, come. I can't read that. <laughs> but you know, I just look at the lady at the front. Yeah, you get it usually at the uh, Asian grocery stores. And the squid brand, fish sauce. Cannot go any other brand, all right? Okay, so. Two cloves of garlic. Something about seafood and garlic, guys. Two cloves of garlic. Must prawns and garlic. All right. Oh, sorry, the boss will clean that. <laughs> so, um, some moist sauce. I would say about. I don't know. This amount will do it. It's probably about a cup, one and a half cups or something. 
I just eyeball it, guys. You get the idea. It's about a couple, cup and half a cup. A little bit of fish sauce in there, like that. Teaspoon. Uh, black ground pepper. Now I found out the black ground pepper is much better than the the normal um, uh, cracked pepper you will get from the uh, peppercorns. And you crack it, these are cracked peppercorns. For this recipe, just the black ground pepper. Any any black ground pepper is good. I like a bit of spice. I usually use bird's eye chili, but uh, today I'm going to use just a little bit of the ground chilies. It's just chili, so uh, any brand is good. Home brand. So just add a little bit of spice in there. It was for the family. They're going to eat it too, and they're not real too salt. I mean, chili tolerant. And whip it up. And that's all it is. And then uh, we have a little bit of lime juice to top it up right at the end. All right, ladies and gentlemen, right at the end. So the idea is in this recipe, this once, once we've um, um, peeled the um, oysters from the shell, plucked them out, we put them in here and mix with the sauce, let them infuse, and then we um, put them back onto the shell as they go into the barbie. They probably go into the barbie for about, I don't know, 40 seconds to a minute, depending on how hot you have it, and it's ready to go. Simple as that. And it's absolutely amazing, you should try it. Let's back it back over to the mussels. Here's my stand them out. Get this uh, ice cube out of the way. You don't want too much water in there, which is... Frozen. I want all the water to be out for the muscle. That one was frozen, so that's an exception there. Gonna have to drain it out. Too much water makes the sauce and dilutes the sauce, so you don't want to dilute the sauce. But we need to freeze it. So, guys, I should have prepared this, uh, should have defrosted earlier. Okay, so this is the uh, hard part, just getting the whiskers out and getting that little nugget from inside out. The little delicious nugget. If you can get them already uh, peeled and done for you, raw, then by all means. But I don't have any... Uh, um, I don't have any access to them. Let's give it a quick rinse so all the um, bits come out like that. I'll do uh, one last one. Yeah, it's good. Oh. And then we'll just do that for all these. I'll get back to you when I've done them all and we'll throw them into the sauce. Alright, stay tuned guys. There we have it. There you go guys. Wasn't as bad as peeling a thousand plus prawns, but finally managed it. Um, so we'll keep some of the shells for each um, nugget of mussels. And these are the muscles I've peeled out and washed. Um, now I've drained out as much water as I can. You know, but all we need to do now is to put the sauce, I mean the muscles, into the sauce. Yeah. Mix it around, infuse. Let me hear you guys, but I love to infuse. 
infused in my sauce and my cooking moisture that is well seasoned. I love well seasoned food. Because when it's well seasoned, it is amazing. Okay, there you are. Well, that's beautiful. Oh, smell the sauce coming through. Yeah, they infuse there for a bit. Look at that, eh? Two kilos of mussels peeled and infused in the sauce. Now all we have to do is take out each individual nugget, put it on the shell, and grill it on the barbie for a couple of seconds, maybe about 40 seconds to a minute. And then when we take it out, the sauce will be oozing around the shell and a little squeeze of lime juice and then and then uh, bottoms up guys it's, oh, it's amazing I always have this craving for mussels when it's raining so unfortunately we can't buy it so we just have to resort to supermarket ones unfortunately believe me if I was able to get out there like my prawnies and go and cat and get these mussels I used to live in Tassie and I used to have plenty of it along the coastlines but up here in the far north, don't have any of that opportunity. Small oysters like this, we don't have those big ones. So, yeah, have to do this unfortunately. So, ready to go, let it infuse. And uh, we'll fire up the barbie and fry it, man. Amazing. Easy and simple. Alright everyone, now that we've got the barbecue fired up, time to get the prep preparations ready so I'm gonna do one to show you and then uh very simple spoon a nugget straight onto the oh that might be two there well it doesn't matter two whatever bit of sauce like that yeah and then put on the bowl there you go. Here's some I prepared earlier, right in the center. There you go. There you go. Doesn't that look appetizing, eh, guys? Amazing, eh? Muscles. I'll leave the rest, put the rest in the fridge, leave the rest for the family later. And these ones are just for me to munch on, for the, all the hard work. <laughs> You gotta reward reward yourself. All right. And now we just have to wait for the barbie to heat up to about or oh, somewhere between two fifty to um, uh, three hundred, and then we can chuck them on for a few seconds. She's amazing. Yeah. All right. We just got the muscles here now. And the barbecue is 300, nice and hot. I think I need it for a few minutes. Put the barbie up. Let's hope she hasn't washed it. Oh, thank God she hasn't washed it. So I'm just going to use my hand. Just be careful. I will use my hands, but I wouldn't recommend it. Use the tongs. I put it on the uh, hot plate side. Like that. And uh, so it doesn't cook too fast. Keep the sauce inside as well. Yeah, use tongs if you have to. I'm just using my bare hands because it just makes it easier. Tongs, when grabbing the side of the shells may flip and you may lose this, the oil on the, the nugget might go flying. Okay, I'll do it. Yeah. Let's close it up. A minute or so, and we'll come back and check it afterwards. A minute or two, depending. See that 
temperature rising back up. Temperature gauge. See how quickly it's rising. A nice hot barbie is good. I like to cook between 250 to 300, especially for steak. If you have steak, the best temperature to cook it at, at least minimum, at least minimum 300 for steak. But uh, all these little oysters, about um, or oh, not oysters, mussels. 250, between 250 to 300 should be enough. Let's give it a bit of mitt. Alright, weigh it out. Grab a new bowl. I'll see you back here. Let's see the end result, guys. <laughs> mm. All right, just in the gun. Now we're gonna need one of these. The limes. Where are they all go? Here's one. There you go. Nice bright green one. Got small bubblers here. This one'll be perfect. For the meal. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. This guy is probably about dollar dollar fifty at the shops, guys. And doesn't when you plant it in your garden like this? I got it. Just plant it, forget. And it turns into one of these. All right, come back on Barbie. Everything should be pretty good now. Three fifty. Let's have a quick look. A bit over a minute. Yep, I think they'll do it. Look at that, amazing. So we'll turn the gas off. <clears throat> Turn the gas off on the bottom. Gas off the barbie. All right. Now I'll do it. Uh, now that it's hot, I'm gonna have to use tongs now. Let's grab on the side of the shell so you don't lose the sauce. Just be very careful. I'm not rushing. I am going to enjoy these slowly <laughs> you know, I'm never gonna rush when you have delicious cuisine like this I'm gonna take my time and enjoy yeah yeah I'm just going to grab the side of the shell just so, so you don't want any spilling like that because you lose that sauce that sauce is very special in this yeah. I don't know about you guys, but every time when I have uh, friends over, just have a have a chat, just chill out, have a drink, and I when I'm not too lazy, I'll cook this dish just for everyone to have a finger food snack. It always gets wiped out. Always, yeah. So it must taste good, or else it wouldn't get wiped out. There you go, last one in the middle. There we have it. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? It's amazing. And now we're just gonna top it up with that lime, and we're in business. Let's get the lime out. Just bruise it. Juicy! Well, look at that. So, I've got a few pieces. So I can get that. six pieces. I'm gonna need more lime, but I just go with these ones at the moment. Yeah, so this is how I would usually serve it. The lime's there. It's the top off. This is the Finale. Alright. Alright. The finale. So I'm just gonna do it right here, have a taste right here, right next to the barbie. Alright, please don't mind uh, the messiness guys. This is homegrown cooking. So I'm just gonna Pour a bit of lime over each every one, that's what I do. Yeah, not too much, just enough. Now as we slowly do this, we wait for it to cool down as well. Now, 
looks like I've even overcooked it a little bit, I reckon. Hmm. Had to go inside to grab something. I think I might have even overcooked it. There we are. I'm going to come out here with a bit more light. There you go. How's that look? How's that look, guys? Uh, the end result. Alright. Let's try it. Now, hopefully, try the middle one. It's not too hot. Oh. oh my god guys that is amazing oh, my cravings mm, that lime juice Once you've prepared it, you just pick it straight out. Just like that. That is so good. If you guys never try something like this, you know, go give it a shot. Guys. So easy to make. The only hard bit is just <sighs> taking the nugget out of the shells. <laughs> but once you've done that, you've got some friends or someone to help you do it. No wonder it gets cleaned up every time you have friends and family over for a chat or a chill. Sweet, sour, salt, spice, equals sexy, ladies and gentlemen. Mmm, the five S's. Yeah, I'm done. Oh, God, I want more. Right now. I oh, want more guys. That tinge of spice, the little chili powder at the end is just amazing. Mammy's gonna love it. So yeah. Well <laughs> satisfy my cravings guys. Probably still got a bit in there left. I can't wait to have it for the rest share it with the rest of the family as well and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. Quick and simple. No brain dish and it's amazing, full of flavour guys. Give it a shot. The muscles. Uh, if you're not sure what to do, um, not sure what to eat or something like that, doesn't hurt. Yeah, the only downside is I wish we could get fresh mussels plucked from the ocean like we would with our prawns and fish here. Unfortunately, we don't. Not here, the cool weather. Ah, shellfish. So, we're in the tropics. It's too hot here. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it, guys. I'm going to go back and... Uh, try to hold myself back so I can cook uh, the rest for the family or probably for dinner and until next time hope you enjoy the video leave a like if you do if you watch this far that's it all in the next video bye bye Whew.